Hello students, in this video we're going to determine the general solution of this ODE over this interval um, and we're going to use the method of uh, variation of parameters. All right, so uh, I want you to recall that the uh, solution to a non-homogeneous differential equation, that means a differential equation where the right hand side is uh, not zero, um, can be broken into a uh, complementary function plus a particular solution. Or you could think of it as the um, homogeneous solution plus a particular solution. Now um, recall that if L is our, our operator um, that's you know like in this case that's the second derivative plus uh, the number 1 times y then um, that uh, operator distributes um, through the solution and what happens is the operator applied to the complementary function um, is 0 um, but the particular solution um, just leaves us the right hand side. So um, that's just a sophisticated way of just telling you that if you take this solution, complementary function plus particular solution, and uh, you double prime it plus um, just the function um, left alone, the solution left alone here, so I'm just applying it to this differential equation, then um, we, we distribute the double primes here to uh, the complementary function and the particular solution. Uh, and then we collect like terms and we put the complementary solution next to um, its double prime part and the particular next to its part and um, recall that uh, the complementary function satisfies the homogeneous solution so that's zero and you're just left with y particular double prime plus y particular and that just gives you the right hand side which um, we denote by this uh, g oftentimes so it's um, in differential equation uh, vocabulary that's um, the operator applied to y equals g. That's a non-homogeneous equation. I bring that up because you're going to see that in textbooks. You're going to see this type of notation when you uh, um, look online or you read these things in textbooks. Okay, so let's uh, solve this thing. First, a homogeneous solution. Um, y double prime plus y equals 0. That's the homogeneous part. Um, the characteristic equation there is r squared plus 1 and you get r equals plus or minus i. <clears throat> now you know you can write that as a sum of complex exponentials um, but um, after some simplification that just leaves us with c1 cosine plus c1 sine and the arguments are just 1x and uh, you can see that because the coefficient of the i term is uh, simply 1. All right. Um, if you don't know how to do that um, you need to go back to your constant uh, coefficient homogeneous uh, second order equations. Um, so there are two linearly independent solutions, uh, the cosine and the sine. I'll denote them with y1 is cosine and y2 is sine. And I'll compute the Ronskian of those two because we're going to need that for later when we use when we apply the variation of parameters formula. Um, so the Ronskian of those solutions uh, should be non-zero, and in fact, in this case, we are fortunate to get uh, the Ronskian equal to one. Now the particular solution. Um, using the variation of parameters formula is written as um, y1 times u1 plus y2 times u2 and the u1 and u2 are defined uh, in this way u1 primed is equal to minus y2g over the Ronskian and u2 primed is equal to y1g over the Ronskian. Um, I uh, get those formulas from um, from the from the text and um, if you uh, read the text um, you can see where those formulas come from and um, I'm just going to in this video simply apply those uh, formulas so um, u1 primed is equal to minus sine times the secant um, because that's uh, y2 was the sine um, found over here and now I'm going to multiply that by g and then it's over our Ronskin which is 1 the minus sign just comes from the application of the definition. So um, since the secant is um, 1 over cosine, I end up with minus sine over cosine. You might recognize it as, as a tangent, but I'm just going to leave it that way uh, and integrate it. So now I'm going to obtain, instead of u1 prime, I want u, so I integrate. And uh, you can do a substitution here, <clears throat> and you'll get a 1 over u, and then that's a natural log, of course. And uh, I'm just going to drop the arbitrary constant um, in this case, because the arbitrary constant can get floated over to the um, homogeneous solution. Um, I will eventually drop the um, absolute value bars in a moment. Uh, and I can do that over this interval because the cosine 
is positive in the first quadrant. Okay, next up, um, U2 uh, primed is cosine. Um, that comes from the Y1 here times the right-hand side, which is G. And uh, that's cosine times secant, and that's just simply 1. So U2, after I integrate, just gives me X. So now I have U1 and U2, so I can just plug that into our formula here for the particular solution, and I get cosine times the natural log of cosine plus X times sine X. Um, so I just took u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. Now that I have the particular solution, I'm going to add that to the complementary function, um, which is the homogeneous solution. So I'll add that to this uh, solution here. And uh, I have that y is equal to, of course, c1 cosine x plus c2 sine x. That comes from the complementary function or the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution that I just solved um, for using the variational parameters uh, method. And uh, I got that up here, and I just add those uh, down here at the bottom. And that is the general solution of this ordinary differential equation. Good luck.